Pontiac GT0 1970. The Tempris model line received another facelift for the 1970 model year. Hidden headlights were deleted in favor of four exposed round headlamps outboard of narrower grille openings. The nose retained the protruding vertical prow theme, although it was less prominent. While the standard Tempest and Le Mans had chrome grilles, the GTO retained the endurance-theme cover around the headlamps and grille. The suspension was upgraded with the addition of a rear anti-roll bar, essentially the same bar as used on the Oldsmobile 442 and Buick Grand Sport. The front anti-roll bar was slightly stiffer. The result was a useful reduction in body lean and turns and a modest reduction of understeer. Another handling-related improvement was optional variable ratio power steering. Rather than a fixed ratio of 17.5 to 1, requiring four turns lock to lock, the new system varied its ratio from 14.6 to 1 to 18.9 to 1, needing 3.5 turns lock to lock. Turning diameter was reduced from 40.9 feet, 12.5 meters, to 37.4 feet, 11.4 meters. The base engine was unchanged for 1970, but the low compression economy engine was deleted and the Ram Air 3 and Ram Air 4 remained available, although the latter was now a special order option. A new option was Pontiac's 455 HO engine, different from the round port offerings of the 1971-72 cars, available now that GM had rescinded its earlier ban on intermediates with engines larger than 400 HO. The 455, a long-stroke engine also available in the full-size Pontiac line as well as the Grand Prix, was dubiously rated by Pontiac as only moderately stronger than the base 350 horsepower 400 sit and less powerful than the 366 horsepower, 273 kilowatts, Ram Air 3. The Pontiac brochure indicated the same 455 installed in the Grand Prix model was rated at 370 horsepower, 280 kilowatts. The camshafts used in the Ram Air 3 and the GTO 455 HO were the same. For example, the manual transmission 455 HOs used the same 288-302 duration cam as the Ram Air 3. The 455 was rated at 360 horsepower. 270 kilowatts at 4,300 revolutions per minute. Its advantage was torque, 500 pounds-feet, 678 Nm, at 2,700 revolutions per minute. A functional Ram Air Scoop was available. Car and driver tested a heavily optioned 455, with a 4-speed transmission and 3.31 axle and recorded a quarter-mile time of 15.0 seconds with a trap speed of 96.5 miles per hour, 155.3 kilometers per hour. Car Life Test Car had the turbo hydromatic 455 with a 3.55 rear differential. Clocked 14.76 seconds quarter mile time at 95.94 miles per hour, 154.40 kilometers per hour, with an identical 6.6 seconds 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time. Both were about 3 miles per hour, 4.8 kilometers per hour, slower than a Ram Air 3 404 speed, although considerably less temperamental. The Ram Air engine idled roughly and was difficult to drive at low speeds. The smaller displacement engine recorded less than 9 miles per gallon US, 26 liters slash 100 kilometers, 11 miles per gallon M, of gasoline, compared to 10 miles per gallon US, 24 liters slash 100 kilometers, 12 miles per gallon M minus 11 miles per gallon US, 21 liters slash 100 kilometers. 13 miles per gallon M, for the 455. A new and short-lived option for 1970 was the vacuum-operated exhaust, VO, which was vacuum-actuated via an underdosh lever-marked exhaust. The VO was designed to reduce exhaust back pressure and to increase power and performance, but it also substantially increased exhaust noise. The VO option was offered from November 1969 to January 1970. Pontiac management was ordered to cancel the VO option by GM's upper management following a TV commercial for the GTO that aired during Super Bowl IV on CBS January 11, 1970. In that commercial, entitled The Humbler, 
which was broadcast only that one time, a young man pulled up in a new GTO to a drive-in restaurant with dramatic music and exhaust noise in the background, pulling the exhaust knob to activate the vote and then left the drive-in after failing to find a street racing opponent. That particular commercial was also cancelled by order of GM management. Approximately 2331970 GTOs were factory built with this option including 212 hardtop coupes and 21 convertibles, all were used 400 to 350 horsepower with either 4-speed manual or turbo hydromatic transmissions. This particular GTO in the commercial was palladium silver with a black bucket interior. It was unusual in several respects as it also had the underdash ram air knob just to the right of the VO knob, and it sported 69 judge stripes, as a few very early 70 GTOs could be ordered with. It also had a turbo hydromatic transmission, remote mirror, rally two wheels, A, C, hood tachometer, and a new for 1970 formula steering wheel. The judge remained available as an option on the GTO. The Judge came standard with the Ram Air 3, while the Ram Air 4 was optional. Though the 455 SID was available as an option on the standard GTO throughout the entire model year, the 455 was not offered on the Judge until late in the year. Orbit Orange, actually a bright canary yellow, became the new feature color for the 1970 Judge, but any GTO color was available. Striping was relocated to the upper wheel well brows. The new styling do little to help declining sales, which were now being hit by sagging buyer interest in all muscle cars, fueled by the punitive surcharges levied by automobile insurance companies, which sometimes resulted in insurance payments higher than car payments for some drivers. Sales were down to 40,149, of which 3,797 were the judge. Of those 3,797 cars built in the judge term level, only 168 were ordered in the convertible form, RA 3, RA 4, and 455 HO. The general consensus is that 6 of the 168 built were ordered with the 1970 only D-Port 455 HO 360 horsepower, 270 kilowatts, engine, a no-cost option, which explains the conflicting production figures over the years as to how many were built. 162 versus 168. The 69 slash 70 round port RA4 engine, a derivative of the 68 round port RA2 engine, was the most exotic high performance engine ever offered by PMD and factory installed in a GTO or Firebird. The 1969 version had a slight advantage as the compression ratio was still at 10.75 to 1 as opposed to 10.5 to 1 in 1970. It is speculated that PMD was losing $1,000 on every RAW 4 GTO and Firebird built, and the RAW 4 engine was underrated at 370 horsepower, 280 kilowatts. A total of 37 RAW 4 GTO convertibles were built in 1970, 24 four speeds and 13 automatics. Of the 13 1970 GTO RAW 4 slash auto convertibles built, only six received the judge option. The GTO remained the third best-selling intermediate muscle car, outsold only by the Chevrolet Chevrolet S396-454 and the Plymouth Road Runner.